Battlefield Hardline's veteran program. So, as Battlefield 4's life cycle comes to an end here in the next few months, what do we really have to look forward to? Well, Battlefield Hardline has finally gotten an official release date, and I also wanted to talk about a veteran program for Hardline, considering premium isn't too special anymore. First off, the release date for Battlefield Hardline in North America is March 17th, 2015 for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and of course, PC. Now on the other hand, March 19th, 2015 is the official release date for Europe. So there you have it guys, originally this game was supposed to release on October 21st of this year, but EA and Visceral decided to delay it because they didn't want a repeat of BF4's launch with Hardline. Now in addition to that, there is also a second beta coming very soon. Details on that are currently unknown, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be about a month before the game officially releases. Now on top of all this information, I wanted to talk to you guys about a veteran program for Hardline. Now, if you remember back in June, there was a picture uploaded by BF Daily on Twitter. As always, I will link him in the description of the video. Make sure to go follow him. He's a really awesome guy and tweets all the Battlefield news that's going on. Anyways, he tweeted this photo of the veteran program that was never quite put into effect by DICE. Now, as you can see, it says the veteran program rewards our faithful Battlefield players. Depending on how many games you own, you will get to pick a number of exclusive items for Battlefield 4. So, how would this fit into Battlefield Hardline? Obviously, it's a little late now for this to happen on Battlefield 4, but how would the program work? Well, for Hardline, the qualification to be admitted into the program would be play X amount of time on Battlefield 4, and once you have the specified amount, you'll be accepted into the program. Now playing just two Battlefield games doesn't really necessarily make you a veteran, so the catch here would be that the more Battlefield games you own, the more rewards you can unlock for Hardline. Now for instance, if you have Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, and Battlefield 4 all on the same platform, the more games you have, the higher your level will be for the program. So if you're level 3, you can have a lot more rewards for being a more seasoned veteran of the franchise. Now as for rewards, I'm going to assume they would be rare battle packs, maybe veteran battle packs like we saw back in February for Player Appreciation Month. We also got awarded a scope for the 1911, which was pretty useless in my opinion, but it opened the door to endless possibilities for the veterans to be awarded for the support of the series. Now for instance, we could possibly get some new veteran only weapons, but then people who aren't veterans would complain. On the other hand, it encourages you to buy some of the other Battlefield games and support the franchise as a whole. Now weapons aren't the only rewards we could get. Visceral could throw in some extra attachments and cosmetic things for your character, like a bandana over your face if you're on the opposite side of the law. Now Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gave me some ideas as well, instead of having the same boring character model over and over again, maybe Visceral could adopt a system that allows you to customize your character. It would certainly open the doors for more possibilities of rewards for this program and kind of give it some purpose. Now I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I'm guessing a lot of you guys are going to be for this idea of a veteran program. Now it would encourage a lot of the newer players to go back and try out some of the other games in the series if they want some of the cosmetic features that you could unlock through the program. I am 100% for this idea, but I wouldn't be making this video if I didn't want you guys to leave your input, so make sure to leave your ideas for the program down in the comments, I'd really love to hear what you guys think. But anyway, this video is wrapping up here shortly, if you enjoyed it and like the idea of a veteran program being introduced for Hardline, definitely be sure to drop a like rating down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. As always, this has been Zynov, and I'll see you in the next one.